2 weeks. All I have got is just 2 weeks to get that 90 overall in the PT academic or the PT core. You have got any routine. If you are wondering with this question then trust me today's video is that video wherein we will actually understand, we will make it rather possible getting 90 overall in just 2 weeks with a super awesome routine. All you got to do is make sure you watch the video till the end. Hey everybody, Nikhil from Skills PT Academic. Really hope everybody is doing fantastic. I'm back with that another super awesome power packed video on two week study plan. Well, this plan is definitely going to work um, for your PT Academic or for the PT core if you're aiming for 50, 65, 79 or 90 overall. This is backed up by a lot of research. So many of my registered students have followed this. And trust me, many of you who are capable enough to do this routine, to stick to this routine with a lot of efforts have actually made it possible and got that 90 out of 90 in all the modules. Before we get into the video, if you not subscribed to this channel, kindly click on the subscribe button at any time you need online assistance. It's a paid assistance. You can text us to the number appearing in the description of this video. You can text us, click on the link. I'll be there. We will be there to help you guide you in the right direction. Whether you want for PT Academic, PT Core, IELTS Academic, IELTS General, Nati, we will guide you in the right way. Alright, without further delay, let's straight away get into the video. Let me just share my screen. Two weeks study plan. What we are going to learn on two weeks study plan. First thing is day one and two. See a great man has said once. It's not simply about practicing. It's about practicing with the right approach. What if every day you practice a lot for 10 hours? By believing 1 plus 1 is equal to 3. 1 plus 1 is not 2, is equal to 3. You have assumed and you are solving some bigger mathematical problems and every day you practice for 10 hours. Do you think it will make any difference? No. First thing is fix approach, unlearn and relearn because a lot of people have already went into a wrong path. Destination is here, you are already running in this direction. Now you should take a U-turn. The taking a U-turn should happen on the day 1 and day 2. Every module in PTE has an approach, read aloud has an approach, repeat sentence has an approach, reading FIB has an approach and once you get that approach, reaching the destination is far more quicker than you think it is. Alright, so how do we learn the approach? Very simple, you have got this 3 hour full course video in the YouTube that is for both PTE academic and PTE core, just one module is different for PTE core, rest all mostly uh, remain the same. You can check my PTE 3 hour full course video in the YouTube, the link is in the description which will help you understand the approaches, the right things to do, the wrong things that you should not go after for all the modules. And there you understand only 8 modules are really important. PTS, PT academic or core has close to 20 modules, PT core has 19 modules, PT academic has 20 modules of which only 8 are important, out of 8 only 6 are important. It is read aloud in the speaking, repeat sentence in the speaking, essay is not a priority but it's, let's write it down, reading fill in the blank, reading writing fill in the blank, listening fill in the blank, highlight and correct words right from dictation. Only these 8 majorly contribute to your marks out of which you can ignore the third one essay, this is not a priority. This is easy, so in a way you can ignore them. The remaining six are the ones that decide your scores as far as PT academic or PT core is concerned. So, day one and day two is what you will put your heart and soul into it. Watch this three hour video if not at and understand the approach for all the modules. Hardly it will take three, four hours or let us say four, five hours. See, it is only two weeks. So, you need to be ready to put in your heart and soul without any excuse. I do not have time. No, you got to make time. If you do this, you also will get to know the templates. Every day for 10-15 minutes, you will keep aside for the learning of the templates, especially for describe image, read a lecture, summarize spoken text, essay. All four are low priority modules and these four you have templates. Use this template get 90. Now, you understand the real magic of it. Templates won't get you 90. The modules that have template are low priority. All this you understand. The reality you understand in that 3 hour full course video. This day 1 and day 2 you do it. From the day 3 is where the actual thing starts. Do not simply start practicing on the very first day. Correct? You need to take your time, fix the approach, unlearn, relearn, take a U-turn and now you are ready to run. Now you practice. What to practice? Day 3 and day 7. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 5 days is what I am asking you. I want you to practice 5 read alouts. How to practice read aloud? Go to any website. 
or if you join our course, we will guide you. Or you can take a newspaper, novel, read, fire read aloud. 15 minutes of repeat sentence. Remember, do not exceed more, all these do not require more. Where you need to put a lot of time of yours, very soon I will be telling you. 15 minutes of repeat sentence is more than enough. Listen to the audio, you need to record it, I am going to explain you. 5 reading fill in the blanks questions, 5 reading writing fill in the blanks questions. Total 10 reading writing or reading fill in the blanks, fill in the blanks 10 questions, listening fill in the blanks 5, highlight incorrect 5, write from dictation 10 and one essay. This is not a priority if you do not want to you know to complain about essay essay then one essay you can practice. How about describe image written lecture all those not a priority probably day 1 and day 2 you just learn the approach and just ignore them. We can just practice for like 10 15 minutes, summarize spoken text, written lecture almost the same, describe image, you just have to recite the template. Watch my 3 hour full course video. If you watch it, you do not need any extra preparation time for written lecture, summarize spoken text, describe image, and even essay, essay I have just included. Well, day 3 to 7, this is what I should do is, is, is it? Not exactly. Wait for me to come to the final touch. Practice with the right approach note down the mistakes you are making. This is where people go wrong, simplify read a lot. Whether you are doing correctly or not, third party applications will tell me, oh boss no, you can also create a third party application and give scores, if you know web designing, you know that right. So, avoid using third party applications for knowing scores, they are not appears on software. In this, I will explain you how to evaluate yourself and that would be more authentic. This, this many things is what you do from day 3 to day 7, evaluate yourself also you would be doing whenever you practice. So, now speaking, read aloud for a 79, there should not be any fumble. You fumble 2 times or 3 times in those third party applications, still you will get full marks. Things are different, Pearson software is different, third party applications are different. By the way, we are also coming up with a third party application soon, that is another mystery, but I am going to talk about it soon probably in the next set of videos that I am you know like completely involved in it, I am preparing and trying to imitate it the way the Pearson software works, let us see to what extent it will be, I will be very you know, uh, you know like fairly telling you everything out once my software is released, soon it should be open. When you do read aloud, when you practice 5 read aloud, there should not be any fumbles for a 79, you are making 4 fumbles each question means you will get 40, 50 only. For a 65, 1 or 2 fumbles would do. For example, this sentence, the dense forest enveloped everything in a cloak of green where sunlight filtered through the canopy in scattered be beams dappling with the, the for this would be like probably not even a 50 plus score. People think, hey, I spoke everything correctly, just here and there made those mistakes are enough. So, when you practice, pay attention to fluency. The way I read, I was really good, but scattered beams dappling with, with the, the blah, 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 a lot of things I did. This probably one read aloud will give you 5 marks. This would be probably 1 or 2 marks only I will get. This very strict evaluation. In terms of fluency, content, I owe anything you speak, does not matter. Fluency should be perfect for you to get good marks from read aloud to speaking and reading both. So, now when you practice, you practice for fluency, put this thought in your mind, I am practicing for fluency, I am practicing for fluency, I will not fumble, I will not fumble. Why you fumble? Because you are focusing on the content, come out of it, come out of it, come out of it, put this thing, put this thing, this is what you need to practice. Simply and never practicing is not going to help you. You practice in a way there should not be any fumbles. The dense forest enveloped everything in a cloak of green with sunlight filtered through the canopy in beams, dappling the forest floor with patches of light and shadow. The air was alive with the symphony of nature of leaves. I skipped few words, does not matter. At the end of the day, that, 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 rhythm, natural rhythm should be there, so you get the marks. This way you need to practice, not simply practicing. Read aloud, you do this. Repeat sentence. I will explain you for every module how to evaluate. 50, 60 percent content enough. There are 10 words. I am not asking you to speak all 10 words when you practice. 6, 7 words, you make sure you give correctly. But for those 6, 7 words, there should not be any fumbles. If you are doing this for all 15 minutes of repeat sentence, then trust me you are ready for 79 as far as repeat sentence is concerned. If you are making one fumble each in each question, then probably you are at 65 only, not more than that. Here itself you would know whether you are doing it correctly or not, whether you are you know going in the right direction or not. Hope you are getting it. Read a lecture, describe image, there should not be any fumbles. If at all you are practicing 2 minutes, 3 minutes a day, then make sure there are no fumbles. Content not a priority. So, this is how you practice. Now, essay. 
when you write essay the template uh, any template you use make sure you write four to five sentences on your own zero spelling mistakes if there are five spelling mistakes most likely your essay score zero out of 15 reality this people do not use your template i used your template you used my template well and good but you have made more than 10 spelling mistakes you only memorize the template you never wrote and proved it you never wrote it so obviously you don't know the spelling if you make spelling mistakes concave template and all don't give marks it is what you put inside the template use a timer of 20 minutes when you write an essay 10 or 12 or 14 minutes max you should finish your essay and the rest of the time you need to give to proofreading proofreading means when you type you make so many mistakes when you reread it again you will find out the spelling mistakes that you made and you're going to correct it this has to be followed on an everyday basis if you do this then on the exam day you will not have any spelling mistakes or any mistakes left if you don't do this and just want to comfortably sit on a sofa and just watch your phone and just learn the template you're going to make a big fool out of yourself unless you're so good in english most of you guys including me are not so we need to write and learn do this 20 minute timer 13 14 minutes finish the essay the next six minutes you need to do a proofread if you for, for pt academy for, for for a pt core if you are for pt core then instead of essay you would practice write an email recently i made a video on write an email it's almost similar to this when you write four to five sentences make sure no spelling mistake same strategy there it is 10 minutes essay is 20 minutes that's it reading a 5b reading writing a 5b 70 percent accuracy i need for a 65 90 above percent accuracy for 79 meaning let's say i told you five questions each reading a 5b five questions you practice reading writing a 5b five questions you practice 10 questions let's say on an average each question is five marks total 50 when you're doing this 50 i want minimum 43 and above if you want 79 if you're getting 39 40 you're not ready for 79 but the idea is within two weeks you have to become ready that means there is one more thing that I'm going to talk about which actually helps you improve your scores. Hold on for a second, I'm going to soon come to that slide. For a 65, 15 mistakes are fine, not more than that. Or here and there, 1 minus 1 plus 1, it's still fine, 33, 34. If you're getting 28 out of 50, trust me, you're at 50 plus only. This are the reality. Once you understand this, right, things actually change. You yourself will witness how magically the scores are improved. Hope you are getting it. So, we will continue. Then the listening fill in the blank. Again, 70 percent accuracy, 90 percent accuracy for 65 plus, 79 plus. If you are practicing 5 questions, 22 out of 25 minimum I need for 79. For 65, 17 to 18. If you are outside this range, trust me, you need to put in a lot of effort. Write from dictation. Same thing. Out of 110, write from dictations. On an average, let us say 10 words per question. 93 out of 100 minimum I need. Only 7 mistakes and 10 questions are. You do this, then exam you will get 90 overall for PT academic or core. If you are getting 86 out of 100, 101 percent you are not ready for 79. Similar mistakes you will do in the exam. Trust me on this, this is 100 percent true. For a 65, 75 and above, 72, 73, 74, 75 still fine, 1 or 2 marks here and there, but should not come to 66. 70 then you are not ready for 65 probably you are in the range of 62 63 this itself will tell you don't go to those websites and check by the way they are not pearson compliant hope you are getting it so day three to day seven this will probably take you one and a half hour each day to do in addition hold on hold on this is the most important thing of all the things if you are determined enough to do this one hour of reading activity reading a novel newspaper whatever you want but do a bit fast reading do a bit fast reading this improves your reading skills reading if every problem solved improves your collocation skills reading fill in the blanks problem solved makes you faster helps you learn vocabulary even if there, there is a word which you don't know the meaning for using your reading skills using the context comprehension skills you will make a guess as to what would be the meaning of that word and trust me if your reading skills are good if you're everyday reading most likely your guess about the meaning of that word will always turn out to be true that's how it is people people who read a lot of books may not know all the words but you give a context they will exactly tell you what is the meaning of that word that has to improve and apart from that 20 to 30 minute of podcast or tv series with 1.3 or 1.5x speed in the youtube you can search podcast or iheart.com i'll write it down 
this is a free website you have some premium services that you can just subscribe or you can just open this website start listening when, once you adopt these good habits obviously you get into a shape to run faster otherwise you will ask lift destination is 200 km away 79 is very far I can't even say you ask lift you try to go on a public transport you know you don't have any transport you have to walk or some run marathon or some will sprint so you decide which category you want to belong to this is what you do from day 3 to day 7 each day 3 to 3 and a half hours definitely you need to put 5 days is all I am asking dedicatedly put your heart and soul into it then comes week 2 take official mark this is the official mark from Pearson um, for PT academic it is there for PT course soon it will become it will be there at the earliest um, but yes PT official mock test cost you 36 US dollars one mock don't take mock in third party websites and all uh, they are not they don't have peers and software when you take the official mock you get the score report whatever you get whatever you see there similar score will repeat in the exam unless there is some mic issue if mic issue and all speaking will be zero reading 30 listening 20 writing will be accurate score but I'll explain you how to fix this mic issues and all. Remember, this is very, very important. Five official mock tests are there from Pearson mock test A, B, C, D, E. You can take mock A. Record the entire mock using some screen recorder. In our course, we help you only with this at the end of the course. We force you to take an official mock if you join our course. And I will pitch in, verify your setup and all. Um, and then we help you record the entire mock. Mock is over, score report, 65 overall. People will ask me, could I followed everything, why 65? I said, please give me your mock recording. Using recording, we will help a person understand what mistakes the person has done. This is the usual, you know, I mean the procedure. You can follow it yourself to Zoom or any screen recorder. Just click record and take the entire mock. For entire two hour mock, your performance is in a video format. You got to use a good headset. Um, Logitech, HP or Jabra is good, Plasonix which is you know, available in Amazon in India location, C32200 is really good. You can take any one of this. Bluetooth is set, set to, I have iPhone Pro, iPhone uh, this uh, AirPods and all, costliest all this will not work. Bluetooth, the Gitooth will not work. Dummy headsets will not work. You need to have a very good headset, Logitech H390, H340, HP1151, something of that number. They are all really good, you can use, if you get low score, 60 overall, 58 overall, 72 overall, use the recording and evaluate. How to evaluate? Get the correct answer from internet. In the YouTube, you type mock A, official mock answers. Some of the other good people have already shared, means you got the correct answer. You have the recording, you know what answer you have given, compare. Only for reading FIB, reading, writing FIB, listening FIB, write from dictation. These four form the crux of your scores. 100 percent you would have made so many mistakes in this module. So, you understand, oh I think I need to put in more efforts. Again practice, day 3 to day 7, whatever we follow, again start again. We have got less time, but in 2 weeks it is possible, this and this has to be very strong. Again practice, take official mock B, probably in 2-3 days, if you see that yes there is a slight improvement. And continue for the remaining days, this you got to do, you got to do, but let us say 2 weeks over and I am still at 58 overall, it means probably you need time. See, I am just telling you honestly. There are people who have done it in 2 weeks, but there are people who are not able to. If you are getting the same score after 2 weeks also means probably you are not getting the approach, probably you need someone's support, probably you want someone to tell you what mistakes you are doing. It is best if you join an online course, not just ours, we conduct or you can join anybody whom you trust. If not, if the scores are improving, then you can try it out yourselves. 5 mock tests are there, week 2 is all about official mock test, practice, official mock test, practice. When you divide the things like this, day 1 to do, learn, unlearn, relearn, get the approach. Day 3 to 7, rigorous practice with the correct approach and evaluating. Day 8, take official mock test, you will get to know what scores you will get in the exam. If you get 90 overall, 9th day only book exam. If you do not, then again day 3 to day 7, whatever you did, you have to continue. And then once you think that this course, out of 100, I am getting 92, 93, then take another official mock test. Correct? If you get the desired score in official mock, then give exam, otherwise giving exam is of no use. Whatever you get there, similar scores will repeat in the exam, this I can tell you. May not be exact scores, pin to 
you know like I mean like point to point if in the official mock you have got um, writing 62 in the main exam it could be 64 or 65 or 58 depending on what questions you get in the exam but more or less you remain in the same range range you will not get 90 overall in the exam give exam only if you see desired score in official mock pearson do not in the official mock pearson 58 overall tomorrow i will give my exam and try will not come unless there is some issue in the official mock that you have taken net issue mic is not working let us say mic does not work speaking will be unpredictable in the official mock then reading will be unpredictable listening will be unpredictable but writing should be same 90 <laughs> writing cannot uh, get influenced or impacted from speaking module isn't it so at least in the worst case whatever i do setting official mock is not giving me score some laptop problem there could be a lot many issues then see your writing score if writing is 90 then you will get 79 plus in the exam if writing is 74 you will not get 79 if writing is 58 you will get 58 only in the exam that writing score will always be the true reflection of what you get in the exam like this millions you know i mean things are there but whatever i shown you including that one hour of reading activity 30 minutes of listening to a podcast and i forgot to tell you five spelling tests you have to do every day you can look out for the source in the internet uh, spelling gaps in the play store but in our course every day we have a spelling test every day 30 spellings will give you to practice and so far some 500 tests have done so you can join our course if you need more support but you can you know look out yourself try out yourself in the internet as well five to ten spelling tests at least 20 minutes 15 20 minutes you need to give even to learn spellings apart from pte whatever i told one hour of reading activity 30 minutes of you know podcast and 20 30 minute of spelling test do this two weeks should be still possible i think that's all i've got for you really hope that we have produced a wonderful content giving you the right information and guiding you sail through that see and you know edge pass towards that 90 overall if you really like this content leave it appreciation the thumbs up like share comment and subscribe this is Nakul, not N A G U L N A C K E L. It is N A K U L. This is Nakul signing off from Skills PT Academic. Soon we'll be back. Till then, take care. Bye bye. If at all you need an online course for PT Academic Core or IELTS Academic, IELTS General or NATI, you can WhatsApp us any point of time. Fine, guys. Thanks much. See you soon. Till then, take care. Bye bye. Thank you.